Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys had a really good weekend. Let me know how it's going. My weekend was pretty smooth. I kind of relaxed and I did a little bit of construction work and hung out with the girlfriend a little bit. But today I want to head out and try and find some Rosva Elk. We'll primarily be using the 300 Magnum with the soft points. And we'll also have the 6.5 in case we see some white teal. Not really worried about black teal, but I just want to get out there and see if we can't find some elk. Okay, so here's kind of what I have planned for today. What I want to do is start at 540 in the morning and we're going to fast travel over to this tent here. Once we get there, we're going to wait about 10 game minutes and then slowly work our way over to this uh, lake right here. We'll see what's over there. Then we'll come back to this lodge here. Um, we'll change the time unless we don't need to, but we want to keep it somewhere between um, ideally like six and nine o'clock in the morning. So probably we'll change the time back to, I don't know, like six o'clock. Even when we fast travel, we'll change the time to 6 o'clock and then we'll wait 10 minutes, 10 game minutes, and then we'll slowly work our way down this uh, river bottom here and then we'll hunt along the edge of this river bottom and see what we find. That's actually a pretty decent bull right there, about 250 out. So if he turns broadside, we'll probably go for it. Or we're going to find this bull over here. That one's even closer, only 150 out. So he's actually with this whole entire herd of cow elk here and I believe he's the only bull right here. Don't really see him very good, but maybe we'll put out a couple of calls and see if he'll turn or something. You know, if we could at least get a single lung, we should be good, and I think we did. So tomorrow is going to be the first day of this update, and it's going to be pretty interesting. I'm looking forward to it. I've never even tested the beta yet. I mean, I watched plenty of videos on it and live streams, but... I'm looking forward to trying to hunt myself and just see if I see any different differences because I mean to me it seems like it's going to change the whole game but we'll see. So here's our first one and we did get a single lung but because the angle he was at we only got a 59% on the quick kill and it looks like we we're going directly for the heart so it was almost a perfect shot but that's so interesting. Had he been more broadside, we would have had 100% on the quick kill. But as of tomorrow, the new update, this is still going to be a huge, well, not huge, but a pretty good size gold bull elk. So we decided to head over down to this river bottom here, and there's a bunch of elk here. But I saw two different tracks from two sets of bulls that are in this herd. So I'm hoping that we can find at least one of them. From what I can see here, these are all cows, but... There definitely should be a bull here somewhere. Well, I think we just found our bulls. Looks like we have one, two, three, four, and five bulls out here. That looks like a decent one there as well as this one here. Yeah, two pretty decent sized fours. About 300 out. So we'll try and see if we can't get closer. And maybe try and take down both these nice fours. Hold up, that thing's a giant. It looks like we just got eyes on an even bigger bull. That should be a 920 to 940s bull elk we just found out here he's actually on the same side of the river that we're on right now the other bulls are on the opposite side in fact i'll show you right there this is where our other bulls are at right there but since we're on this side here and we have this monster bull here we're probably going to go for him so actually as we got closer the wind ended up shifting in our favor and we ended up getting within about 150 out from these bulls here so now we just got to figure out what we're going to do I think we're going to try and get to maybe this grass right here and then pop up and put out a call. See if we can't get him within bow range. If not, we'll just use the 300 with the soft points and go for a nice double lung or at least a single lung. That should do the trick. So we actually have him out here at about 80 yards out. We could go for that, but we got to get closer because we're about to get stampeded by all of these cows here. There's cows absolutely everywhere. Is there something? Oh, there's that black tail buck. So I guess we're gonna have to sneak right past this buck. Hopefully he doesn't spook. And hopefully, uh, it doesn't look like our bull's coming in just yet. I'm trying to get his attention, but he just doesn't want to even move. He's out there at 62. So we're just gonna take him. He was quartering at us, so we went for the front of the lung. Should have possibly gotten double lung liver, maybe? Oh yeah, <laughs> he smoked. That's what I'm talking about. 
about 60 yards out and we really couldn't get much closer without getting stampeded by all these cows and I feel pretty confident at you know 60 yards no problem there he is laying right there as a matter of fact we hit him right here and there he is laying right there about 40 yards out now let's take a look and see how we did take a look at our tracer lit up just beautifully on this massive bull oh perfect shot placement looks like we got double lung and possibly liver we'll find out in a second that's exactly what we just got double lung liver at 63 yards out beautiful shot right there busting through the shoulder blade with a trophy rating of 305.3 that is a massive bull elk wow We'll take a look at the true score on this bull. It looks like a total main beam length of 139.2 and a circumference of 54.3. Total score overall of 305.3. That is a beautiful Truex Roosevelt elk. And I think we should get him mounted. Yeah, that's an awesome bull. We will definitely put him somewhere. Looks like we have a couple of bucks out here. That's a real decent white tail there. But I'm pretty sure that's a melanistic right there about 290 out there's a bunch of deer out there so i don't know it's another good one there eh, maybe not i think we'll go for this one and try and get the melanistic on the run i believe it's a small i don't even know was it a buck i forgot okay so yeah that doesn't look like a melanistic now that we're close here but we're within about 50 yards from this whole herd of whitetail here so i think what we're gonna do try and find something decent and go for it Maybe even this buck here, 55 out. I mean, we could use the Mosin, or not the Mosin, but we could use the 6.5. Yeah, let's use a 6.5. This buck here is about 50 out. See if we can't get double lung. That should have worked. Yep, he's down. Nice. Just want to go over here quick and double check to see if there wasn't a giant in this herd. It didn't look like it. What's that? Nope, I believe that is the big one though. So I would like to get him if he slows down. It's about 225 out there. He actually did stop. Look at that. All right, let's grab our 6.5. That looked good. Oh, that was perfect. I believe we ended up getting spinal cord and double lung. I mean, I was holding for the spine, but he was 220 out at 160. We should have had a little bit of drop, you would think. I mean, I wouldn't think that that was directly spinal cord, but even if it was, I'll take it. Just a young buck, but we did get a double lung at 55 out on him. 755 with trophy rating of 157. And here is our should be a decent white tail. It was a decent white tail. A nice gold, and that wasn't even close to a spinal cord. That was actually a perfect double lung heart at 225 yards out with a 6.5. Wow. Huh. I was going to say, zeroed in for 160, hold him for the spine at 220. I knew we would drop a little bit, but we actually dropped quite a bit. Made an incredible shot and a trophy rating of 192 on this nice gold white tail. So we actually have a decent sized bull moose out here and he's a long ways out, but he's pretty broadside at about 350. I want to see if we can get a decent amount of quick kill on him with the 300 magnum and the soft points. So I think we're going to try for it about... Man, really? Really? So you guys got to make so much noise. You know what? It's not this bull's lucky day. No, it's not. <laughs> he smoked. Oh, he's not going anywhere. Yeah, he's down. I forgot I had the 600s loaded in this, so we were able to pull that off pretty quickly. But let's get back on this bull. Okay, 350. That should have been pretty much perfect. Oh, hold on. It looks like we just found a real nice bull elk out here at about 330 yards out. I think we'll go for him instead of that bull. Got another bull walking right past us here. Again, not your lucky day, bull. Definitely not your lucky day today. But you might be all right. Okay, so... I think that that's where these bulls are gonna go to. 330? Okay, let's see if we can't go for this one. Ah, 
That should have been all right. Oh, wow. Did you just see how fast that thing piled up? Now, there's no way we got double lung, but I think we got full uh, on a single lung at 340 yards out. So that was pretty impressive. All right, first off, let's grab this bolt. That was actually a heart right lung, 839. That's actually not a bad bull, 14 yards out. Trophy rating of 193. And then we'll grab this bull. <laughs> I mean, if both bulls are gonna walk right past us, we're not gonna pass up the opportunity, you know? So we'll grab this one, left lung, liver, stomach, and not quite a gold. Now, the next question is how are we supposed to get over there? Since we have to go this way anyways, we might as well try and take down this Kyle Elko here at about 280. That actually should have been pretty much hard, but that definitely should take her down. Nicely. And nice right lung at 270. We were going directly for the heart. I bet had we had Palmer tips, that probably would have been a hard shot. Still got 100% though. And since we have to go this way anyways, we might as well try and take down this bull at about 359. Yeah, let's go for it. That looked good. Well, I guess that answers our question because that's our bull down right there. So it must have been a pretty decent shot. I'd say he only ran, I don't know, maybe like 50 yards or so piled up in this brush and it looks like his rack got stuck up in this brush here kind of cool yeah not a bad bull too wow that's actually a gold got a left lung 100 at 350 yards 806 with a trophy rating of 186.5 honestly would have never guessed that could have been a gold but i'll take it so that's kind of interesting. This bull actually didn't go too far, but for some reason there was no hunting pressure on the map at all. I mean, with a medium blood rate like that, I would say we at least got a single lung, right? Yeah, we did get a single lung and we even got a gold on top of that. 346 yards out. How do we do? That was a beautiful shot actually. Center of the lung pretty much perfectly. Left lung with an 86% on the quick kill, 822 gold with a trophy rating of 216.5. But yeah, that's so interesting because I checked the map and there was no hunting pressure whatsoever for at least like five minutes. I don't know. And here is our pretty decent bull, should make gold. He does, 830, ended up with a 335 yard left lung liver stomach. Wow. That's actually decent penetration for these soft points, especially. He was quartering a little bit, but that goes to show you if they're almost broadside, you can actually get a pretty decent quick kill on them. Although it's really not gonna matter after tomorrow. But I mean, still, you always wanna take a nice perfect broadside shot. That's a beautiful bull with a trophy rating of 272.3. Really cool back tines on them. And I think that is gonna be a good way to end this video. Let me know if you're looking forward to, to uh, tomorrow's update. But with that, that's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you had a really good weekend. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you next time.